All right, so we've got this nice game where if we click on this mole, whoops, missed him. But if I click on him, I score a point. If I miss him, his energy level goes down. Okay. Now we want to make it so the game the game ends. Okay. So there's a game over when that score gets down to zero. Okay. So in other words, if he misses ten times, because we start this guy at hundred, we take it away ten every miss. When he misses that tenth time, we're going to end the game. Okay, and just to make it kind of fun, I'm going to come over and add from the other stuff um, a text-to-speech component. And this guy's nice because when you add text-to-speech component, you can have the, the phone say things. It'll be a kind of a funky voice, um, but you can, you can have the app say things. Okay, so I've got my text-to-speech component, and the game is going to end when energy gets down to zero, right? Um, so I'm going to need another if statement, and that if is actually going to live within this else do. So in other words, if I miss the sprite, I come to this else, and only in that case might the game end, and that's where I'll check it. There's no reason to check if the game ends up here because you didn't lose any energy. Okay, and my test, of course, is going to be is my energy down to to zero. Okay. So I'm going to grab an energy reference. I'll grab from the math, I'll grab a equals. Um, and I'll just make a little zero block. And you know, I might want to be careful if, if I wasn't dealing with even numbers or whatnot. You know, maybe I'd get lower than zero. So I could actually just say, you know, if it's less than or equal to zero, okay. Just in case I skipped zero and got, got below it. In this case, it, it really won't matter. But if my energy is less than or equal to zero, game over, right? And the simplest thing for, for game over is, let's just go ahead and speak it. Let's tell the user, look, it's all over, buddy. And you can just put a regular text block in, and whatever you stick in there, uh, the app will speak it. Okay, so if we try this real quick, and if I miss a bunch of times, there goes my energy, and, it's all over, buddy. and it tells me I lost. Okay, that's cool, but as you'll notice, I can still score points, which obviously I don't want that to. And the mole's still moving around. We should stop stop the mole. We could also do some things like make him roll over dead, that kind of thing. But for now, you know what, let's make him stop, and we'll also make it so I can't, can't score any more points. Okay, the first thing to make him stop is I'm going to go over the, to the clock, you know, and I'm going to grab the clock.timer enabled. And I want to set that, okay? I don't want this timer to go off anymore, okay? And timer enabled means, yeah, every, whatever time interval, do this stuff forever and ever, okay? Unless I set my timer enabled to false. So once I have a game over, I'm going to do that. Okay, so let's just start this guy up so we can see it working. Um, but my timer should stop that guy from moving uh, when, when, the, when we run out of energy. And the other thing I want to do is, is make it so I can't score any more points. But that's going to be a little bit different. One, one problem is, for whatever reason, the canvas component does not have a enabled button. So we can't make it so touches are ignored. We're going to have to ignore them explicitly. Uh, it's not hard, but we'll, we'll have to do it with an if statement. Okay, so my game's going to start here. And there he goes. And let me just lose real quick. And we should see that mole stop jumping around once I run out of energy. It's all over, buddy. And yep, looks like the mole is stationary. So cool. So we've done two of the things we want to do. We speak it up, and then we disable the timer. But you'll notice if I do touch in here, it's all over, buddy. It's still gonna tell me it's over. Or do do whatever. Okay. And in fact, um, what we really want is nothing else to to happen. Okay. So in fact, if 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 clicking on here lost me a point, I wouldn't want that to happen either. So one thing I could do is, is in here, 
only react to the event if, in fact, um, energy is, is greater than zero. Okay, so I could put an if statement around the whole thing. In other words, if, and I'm just going to copy this guy and bring him over, but if energy is greater than zero, okay, so if I've still got energy, sorry, if I've still got energy, then let's do all the stuff we want to do when they have energy. So one time I'm going to touch it, I'll still have energy, and I'll go do whatever's here. At one point I'll have 10 in my energy, I'll get it down to zero, I'll speak this, I'll disable the clock, the next time I touch it, energy will be zero or less, and I won't, won't do anything again. All right, so let's try this out. And, and as, it's, as it's restarting, let's just go over the logic once more. Every time they touch the canvas, the first thing we do is say, look, do we have any more energy? If we don't, let's just ignore everything, okay? If we do, let's see if they touch the sprite, give them a point if they do. But if they missed it, we'll take away some energy, tell them the game's over, disable the clock. The next time they touch it, game's still over, and energy will, will not be greater than zero. Okay, so I think it started up. Uh, let's see if I can score points, yes. Now let's try to lose. And... It's all over, buddy. Good, so it, it got me down to energy zero, stopped the sprite, and if I click on here, it, it will no longer say my voice. Or if I was losing points for missing him, I would no longer lose any points.